I have actually I have I have two projects under this under this headline. Headline and, and I will I will tell you very briefly about these projects and and then then we can you can ask me more details if you want because we have so so time. Okay, you can take it. First project is, is called Lakefish project and it, uh, there was a background uh, willingness of, of municipal food service to use to use to, to serve uh, fish fish <coughs> for, for people and and uh, they want to use this undervalued fish fish species like uh, like the roach and then bream and the, the reason for this was the price price of this this uh, fish because uh, the price of, of the one meal should be really low in this uh, municipal food service so so we we make a make a project to, to build a, a, a fisherman's network to fish bream and roach and 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 we found fishermen who were who, who were willing to, to de develop their their own business in this kind of fishing fishing and and um, then we had also some some uh, fishing industry in our area which needed to be developed for example we had a, a so-called quick, <coughs> quick frozen quick freezing uh, machine in in one fish harbor so so we in this project we we develop uh, for example one kind of uh, lake fish steak for this municipality food service and, and uh, we test many many different kind of of, uh, of uh, products and we found a few really good from from this undervalued fish species and and uh, now we have this uh, this uh, system going on that they are they are serving serving uh, fish meals in, in municipality F food service it was uh, mainly our our Funding in this project, 80 percent, 70 percent, they they got money from from our flag. Okay. And then this is this bigger bigger project. Uh, we were we were thinking that that we found some some questions in the whole whole uh, supply chain. There was there was a lot of problems. For example, in, in availability, logistic, handling process, everything <coughs> needs to be done really, really, mm, how do you say, with, with low, low costs, because the, the, <coughs> the, the raw material is also really cheap, and that people are not, not willing to pay much of this, this kind of, of uh, fish. Mm. And in this project, we get uh, funding from Finnish Innovation, Fund. They they think that this is a, a part of of uh, of uh, circular economy <coughs> in, in Finland. And, and these fish species, roach and bream, bream are, are underutilized. But there is really many ecological and economic benefits uh, in, in catching catching these fish. Uh, it, it's of course it's a sustainable source of. of Protein and and uh, <coughs> by fishing this uh, this fish species as a biomanipulation, biomanipula we can remove nutrients from from the water, and, and that's that's the link to this uh, this uh, circular economy. But we need to find find solution in this in these uh, central issues. This is a bigger project, project, as I told you, and, and we got 300,000 from, from this Finnish Innovation Fund. And uh, now we, the focus is, is, uh, is uh, in, in, in whole, whole supply chain. We, we have uh, improving, improving the logistic. We have been testing testing different kind of fish, big big fish boxes uh, for for transportation, and, and then we have some different systems to, to collect 
uh, catches because you get these fish species from from uh, sometimes you get from from this biomanipulation there can be 10,000 20,000 kilos in one catch and then then you catch this uh, fish as a bycatch a small small amount of, 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 of bycatch and, and both both kind of uh, of catches we have to try to use and, and you, you understand it, it's uh, it's uh, there's big problems uh, we are also developing automatic cutting with, to, together with, with one Latvian company, Perutsa. They, they are building us as an automatic cutting machine now. They are testing a testing new machine to, today in, in, in Riga. And, and then we have this, uh, we have this uh, mobile catch report system that's also brand new and, and all, now we are testing and, and developing this with fishermen so that when fishermen make this, this uh, catch report which, which is obligatory he can also at the same time he can send a message to the transport company that there is maybe 100 or 1000 kilo now in, in harbor and, and the car can come and pick it up and then then we have uh, have a testing testing make, make test with fishermen for example some kind of uh, chest to, that we can we can collect small bycatches in, in, in and keep them fish alive and then have a bigger bigger uh, amount of fish for transportation uh, our, our flax role in this project of even we, we get the money for the project and we are working together all the time with the fishermen in, in this, this part of the supply chain and, and helping them to make all this, all this testing, testing and, and uh, develop sorting and everything else and, and uh, make sure that the cold chain from fisherman to the processor will, will stay good. Okay, thank you. Thank you. We are working together with, with the Finnish Blue Products uh, project, and they are developing these uh, high-value products from from uh, from uh, our fish species. We are we are de uh, developing raw material for this this kind of you you mentioned this collagen and things like that. So we are working together with them also. Thank you very much, Peter.